Good afternoon and welcome to another vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. It's actually my second vlog of the day. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my video from Funland at Hailing Island. That's where I've been for the first part of this afternoon. I uh, did the two different roller coasters there, a very wet log flume and a few other different rides as well. So make sure you check out the vlog. I've made my way about 14 miles. It took about 25 minutes uh, to drive from there, uh, closer towards Portsmouth. And here I am at Clarence Pier. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to riding on the two different roller coasters, what they've got here. Both of them new for 2019. Along with that as well, there's a high ropes course. There's a big wheel, a few of the different rides to try out as well. And uh, yeah, the sun is still shining. It's a really nice day today. Perfect for being at the seaside and uh, going to do some different rides. Uh, there's quite a bit on offer here. In terms of prices, it's one pound here for a token um, for the different rides. Uh, a lot of the big rides seem to be priced at four tokens, so about four pound a ride. So it is more expensive um, than where I was earlier on uh, down at Hailing Island. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to buy a wristband for here because uh, it does work out that it's actually going to be a bit cheaper with the rides that I want to do uh, buying a wristband. They are priced at £20. They also do an evening wristband, uh, which is for £15 as well. So there's not much difference, to be honest. Um, you may as well just buy the full day wristband if you are coming here, um, you know, so you can do everything for as long as you want to, really. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head over there now. Of course, it's right next to the water. You've got the hovercrafts near here as well that take you over to the Isle of Wight. Um, so they're really good fun. I did that when I was a kid, actually. Uh, but yeah, I'll get the GoPro on. Let's go and do some different rides. We're not going on National Express, no. Uh, a bit of a bad backdrop, that actually, isn't it? Yeah, we're not going on National Express. Uh, as much as I do enjoy their cheaper coach journeys, they do take a long time to get places, don't they? I'd much rather drive or get the train, but here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog here from Clarence Pier. Let's go and get a wristband and, uh, yeah, go and do some rides. So Clarence Pier is actually located in South Sea. As you can see, there's all sorts of different shops and restaurants all down the side just here. There's the uh, Ferris wheel there as well. We have some great views over towards Portsmouth and also the Spinnaker Tower. I've been to the top of that and there's a video now online on my second channel, Adventure Sean. So make sure you check it out from the Spinnaker Tower. And uh, just notice this big sign here as well. Uh, this is good for if you're in a group. You can buy 50 tokens for £25, making it half price. So there we go, that's not too bad actually, if there was a group of you here. Obviously it still works out best for me buying a wristband, being on my own. Uh, plus I'll probably do a few different re-rides here as well. Do the coasters a couple of times and a few of the other bits. But in terms of parking, massive council owned car park opposite. It was like £4 to park on there for three hours. But I think that'll be enough. But if not, I can always run over and put a bit more money on the car park. But yeah, I'm going to go and buy my uh, wristband from the booth just here. And then we'll start off with going on the two new coasters for 2019. Right, so it's a bit of an interesting system here when it comes to wristbands. As you can see from this sign, you got the all day rider wristband from 12 till 5 p.m., which is 20 pounds. Bear in mind it's called an all day rider wristband, where it stops at five. Then you got the Saturday night wristband, even though it's not a Saturday night, uh, but that's 15 pounds and that's from six till nine. So it's quarter to four now. I wanted to do a few hours worth of rides on the wristband. I was quite happy paying 20 pounds. However, that actually runs out in an hour and 15 minutes. So it's either that uh, or a paper ride or a wait until six o'clock. So yeah, I'm not too keen on that system to be honest, because it means if you're just coming in the afternoon now and want to do a few hours worth of rides, you're either waiting a very long time, paying per ride, um, or yeah, you've got to pay for 20 pounds for an hour and 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm not too keen on that. So as I'm here now, and obviously I'm going on to do some other things this evening, the option of waiting until six o'clock isn't there. So yeah, I'm just gonna be paying per ride. So I'm probably not gonna do as many rides now as I would have done, but I'm gonna do the two new coasters, definitely do the Ferris wheel here as well and I'll sort of go from there but yeah a bit of a shame about that really I feel like they're definitely missing out on a bit of a market there that was the good thing with where I was earlier on um, you know down at Hailing Island they did that afternoon wristband um, which was perfect really but oh well I'll buy some tokens and we'll go on tidal wave no not not at Thorpe Park the, the new coaster
off we go then on this brand new ride. Here I am on the front. Obviously it is a spinning coaster. So we'll be spinning round. Manufactured by SBF Visa. Look at this support structure here. It's very different, isn't it? There's the hovercraft coming in. That's what makes this ride, and I assume with the other coaster as well, it's the views. And we are using the kicker wheels to take us up. Oh, we start spinning on the lift. So yeah, SPF Visa have done quite a few of these spinning rides now, but I've not been on one with this layout before. Normally a very standard layout you get. And off we go, hovercraft, yeah. Straight onto the beach. Wow, look at that. Woo! Very smooth. Whoa. Yeah, that's what makes this. The views are incredible here from Clarence Pier. Makes it wonderful. You've got the high ropes course over there. Yeah, what an interesting support structure with like the arches. I do quite like that. You can always put some lights on there if you want to as well to make it look a bit more attractive. There's the Spinnaker Tower over there in Portsmouth. Whee. So yeah, new coaster credit for me this one. Hey. Two laps, are we gonna get a third, do you think? Quite expensive at four pound a go though, isn't it really? I definitely know you've seen this vlog and you know that there's wristband times. You definitely wanna make sure you come in for one of those to get uh, better value. The evening wristband's probably the best one. Three hours, six till nine, 15 pound, that's not too bad. Obviously it's just not great if you come in in the afternoon, you know, but I didn't know before visiting, so it's one of those, isn't it? I know for next time. Hey! Whoa! Three lap special, I think. And there we go, very smooth, enjoyable ride that, a bit pricey, but a brand new coaster, fresh out the factory, and the views make it, really nice location. It made it having the hovercraft come in then as well, didn't it? That was a really good, fun family coaster. Nearly as fun as it would be to be on that hovercraft right now. Off it goes. Over to the Isle of Wight. Wow. Love seeing the hovercraft from here at Clarence Pier. Brilliant. Yeah, that's what really made that coaster. It was the views. It was nice and smooth, but it looks good as well with the blue track. This looks good, doesn't it, as well? The high ropes course. If I'd have bought the wristband, I definitely would have had a go on here, but it's four pounds to go on this as well. All the bigger things seem like the four pound, which is reasonable, I'd say, for the high ropes. I think the coaster was a bit expensive at that. I think three pound would be better pricing for that um, from other rides that I've seen and my experience with it. But yeah, the high ropes, I think four pound for this isn't too bad. You know, and that's reasonably good value, actually. Loads of different obstacles on there. And again, it kind of makes it with the views, doesn't it, looking out over there. But yeah, good little fun coaster that was. A nice little addition what they've put in. Well, two new coasters. We're gonna go and do the other one now with the red track that we can see down there in the distance. So you've got this smaller little balloon wheel here as well, along with this just here. Another spinning ride for the kids. Little uh, jungle safari style ride over there. Or is it, oh no, it's circus theme that one. Two tokens. Yeah, that's not too bad. Two pounds for the smaller ride. Just think for a family coaster, that was just a bit pricey. I can understand this, what I'm going on now being four pounds, with it being a bit of a bigger ride, but with that being more of a family coaster, you know, I think it was a bit pricey at that. But there you go, there are the prices anyway. You know, I always tell you guys exactly how much stuff costs, so you know. Got the flying Dumbos here as well. There's a massive arcade and food area over at the back there as well. The Golden Horseshoe, um, which is over at the back there here at the pier. That's a very like 80s style building over there, isn't it? All the yellow and blue. Here's the Diamond Dodgems over here. We had some great Dodgems earlier on at Hailing Island. Really good fun. Three tokens for the Dodgems. Per car. That's, that's not too bad. Carousel over there, covered over. Little roof on it, that's quite good. Same with a few of these rides here, actually. And here we go, here's the next ride that I'm going on. Another new ride here at Clarence Pier for 2019. Four tokens for the Mad Mouse. So 
only a small little part this one yet again but there's quite a lot packed into uh, a pretty small space here and there's a few more thrill rides here than Hailing Island definitely got a better family ride selection down there though where I was earlier on today uh, but here we go I'll take you on for the ride on the Mad Mouse and again I think the views are really gonna make this one four pound a ride let's go on time to find out how mad this mouse really is how angry are you feeling today yeah not very hopefully in the sunshine it's lovely oh I feel like we're going to get a great view over towards the Spinnaker Tower. Oh yes. Very picturesque seaside amusement park this. When you say British amusement park, this is exactly what I see. Something like this, you know, next to the water. And there it is, the Spinnaker Tower. Brilliant observation deck up there. Like I say, check out my video over on Adventure Sean. It went on recently. Woo! All the boats out there. Another hovercraft coming in. Here we go. Whee. Oh, very smooth. Whee. Bit of helix, helix, helix. Yeah. It's not breaking too much. Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, right. There we go. Honestly, I didn't know that was coming either. Uh, yeah, that was a bit too much breaking at the end. I was just going to say, like, oh, it's going really well. This is since the breaking. There we go. The Mad Mouse. That was really good fun, and I know I keep going on about it, but it was the views that made it. I'd definitely say that's worth £4, with it being a more thrilling ride. Uh, and yeah, the fantastic house next to the water uh, makes it really good. It didn't break too much around most of the layout, and then it got right towards the end, and we stopped before coming around the final corner. Uh, but yeah, not too bad on the old braking there. It could have been worse around some of the other sections, but luckily, because the braking didn't come till right near the end, it kept up the momentum quite nicely uh, around most of the layout. Out. really nice and smooth as well yeah definitely worth uh, four pound it was good that was I enjoyed it and some of the shout theme ball will wide then go around I'm sure they did um, but yeah the ride itself manufactured by SPF Visa same as the spinning coaster and uh, yeah two really good additions to this part for 2019 hopefully we'll keep investing and of course that keeps people coming back it's brought me back here I've not been for a very very long time so yeah it's been good to come and see these new additions let's continue having a little look around the rest of the park and see what else there is on offer I even have an ice cream. Here's a little look down at the Twister. Again, it's covered over, but it's got some really nice lighting on there. All LED, looks really good that, doesn't it? Looks like it was recently refurbished that. Really nice. Another big arcade over here on the left-hand side as well. atmosphere about the place I do really like it some really good lighting over here on the Walter as well look at that red white and blue loving that so you're getting quite a good spin there actually on the uh, waltzers. Yeah, I'll definitely come back at some point in the future when I got a bit more time and get a wristband, probably do the evening wristband for £15 because that isn't too badly priced for on an evening. Uh, like I said, I would have stuck around for that today, but I've got other things to be doing, other places to be, and a few people that I'm meeting up with this evening, so um, I didn't want to wait about until six o'clock. It wasn't an option for me today. Uh, but I will go on the big wheel just here to go and get some views. You know me, I do like a, a good big wheel. So I'll have a little ride on here. I'm not too sure how much it is. Four pounds, I think. Yeah, four pounds for the wheel. I'd say again, that's kind of reasonable to go on a big wheel. Not too bad. And again, with us being next to the water, it's all going to be about them views.
So I'll take you on there in just a second, probably the last ride that I'm going to do here. Yeah, there's a reasonable ride line up though, down here at Clarence Pier. Um, you know, it's a little bit on the pricey side for some bits, but not too bad of a ride line up really. And that's like the gates to the amusement park there. And you've got a few other bits outside here. That's actually a Premier Inn over there, the big white building and a Brewer's Fair pub. Um, and then you've got the Treasure Island Adventure Golf here. It looks very, very well themed actually. Yeah, look at that. Big boat over there. It looks really fresh, like it's all been painted up. That's the thing with these seaside attractions. Uh, some of them out there do look a little bit tacky and not well maintained, whereas with here, it looks after it quite nice and it's all been painted over. Uh, but yeah, I assume this isn't owned by the, uh, by the same people that own Clarence Pier. Um, I doubt it anyway with it being outside the gates. You never know, but probably a separate company or family that own that one. Uh, but yeah, let's go on the, uh, the wheel here in South Sea and get a great view over the park and also the surrounding area. is it really that the big wheel is called the view because that's what this park's all about the views <laughs> promise i'll stop going on about them now um, here we go let's get a bit of an aerial look over the park you notice how i didn't say view <laughs> little look over really really nice area this isn't it yeah like i say your traditional british seaside amusement park mad mouse over there glistening in the sunlight and the spinnaker tower over there as well over in Portsmouth. So this is like old Portsmouth down there, I believe. Um, and then you head over into Portsmouth itself over at the back just there. Really nice structure that is though down in the harbour. Do really like that. Lots of nice restaurants and stuff down there as well. That's where I'm heading to this evening actually. That uh, adventure golf course down there, all the pirate theming, the big skull. Yeah, and there's all your car park over there as well. So I'm parked just over there. Not too expensive at all, really, like I say. Loads of grass area there as well, just for having a bit of a chill out on, which is nice. Another hovercraft over there in the distance. But yeah, that's all the Isle of Wight. Last year, me and Alex went over there. We went to two parks, uh, Black Gang Chine and Robin Hill. I was hoping to get back over to the Isle of Wight this year, but just not gonna have time now, unfortunately. Florida is coming up in the next few weeks. Me and Charlotte's big trip to the States, so can't wait to share all the videos with you guys. And the likes of Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando Resort, Busch Gardens, and so much more. Yeah, good little place this is down here. I've really enjoyed it. Just, you know, been here, what, another an hour or so? Would have been here longer if I'd done the wristband, but like I say, it just didn't work out the best option for me at the time that I'd arrived. Um, but definitely recommend check the website for opening times as well um, just to make sure they're open because looking at the calendar it's quite limited for both of the parks that I've been to today but yeah I've enjoyed it it's been really good fun I'll show you a few more shots from here on the view the big wheel is there then from the ferris wheel where you got a fantastic look across the area there we go um, you got to see all the park over towards portsmouth and uh, yeah around south sea as well so definitely recommend going on there to get a really good view there we are i had to say it one more time uh, but yeah there you go that wraps up a little vlog from here i hope you've enjoyed seeing what they've got on offer uh, especially the new things for 2019 uh, there's a reasonably good ride selection down here certainly a couple more thrill rides here than there was at hailing island uh, but that was definitely more family orientated and the log flume was good fun down there so yeah there's great stuff at both parks i recommend coming to see them both of course i always say but come and support these smaller amusement parks as well uh, on days like this when the sun's shining you have some really good days down here at these little parks uh, but the best thing to do value wise uh, from working it out just if i'd have known in advance really would have been go to hailing island for two o'clock 
do two till five on the wristband offer there for 10 pounds. Then you've got that hour from five till six to maybe grab some food, drive from there to here. Like I say, it took about 25 minutes in light traffic. Uh, and then come here for the evening wristband offer from six till nine, um, which is what, 15 pounds. So for 25 quid, then you could do both parks on limited rides. So that isn't too bad, really. I mean, if I'd known that in advance, I'd definitely have done that myself. But there you are, if you want to do that, good value, come and support both parks as well. And yeah, they've both got a really nice ride selection. I'll be back here again at some point in the future, not too far away from Paulton's Park, um, which is where I'm heading to uh, tomorrow, going there to go and uh, have a little look round and go and do a video uh, that you'll have already seen because that's going on first, a construction update uh, following the build of their new area for Tornado Springs. So if you haven't already seen that video, make sure you check it out here on Theme Park Worldwide because that is now already online here on the channel. Uh, well, there we go. Thank you very much for joining me for another couple of videos here on Theme Park Worldwide. Check out that other vlog from this morning at Hailing Island. And of course, you've seen me here at Clarence Pier this afternoon. I'm going to go and head into Portsmouth now for the evening, meet a few friends, have a bit of a chill out in the sunshine, and I'll see you all in another video here on Theme Park Worldwide very soon. That means it's time to cue O's credits. See you later.